renovating our 1970s home part 7. Today we are finally getting to painting our ceiling. We finished taking down the rest of these wood beams and cleaned and swept up the rest of the cobwebs to make sure that it was a clean surface to paint. Took down the light fixtures and protected them so they wouldn't get paint on them. Then we went ahead and patched up all of the holes that were on the ceiling and walls. And man, there were a lot of them. If there's one thing that we've learned about renovating in the last couple of months, it's that every single project is going to take at least three times longer than you probably expect it to. Patching up all these holes took pretty much a whole entire night, as we also had to wait for it to dry for 24 hours before sanding and painting. Once we finished patching up the rest of the walls and ceiling and waited for it to dry, the next day we went in and we were able to start painting. And I know some of you are probably freaking out right now because we are painting our ceiling black. But no worries, we have a vision. The black is actually just going to act as a backdrop for the wood that we are going to be laying up, which the, here's a little snapshot of what it will hopefully look like. And this is the inspo pick that we have. We ended up needing actually a second gallon of paint because of how thick the popcorn ceiling was laid on here. It was pretty much soaking up all of the paint we put up. We still have some touching up to do, but here's what it looks like right now and follow along for more updates. 